someone who is a survivor. And if you want to ensure that your sister, daughter, mother, grandmother does not become a survivor, please raise your hand. Today we are gathering for change. One Billion Rising is dancing up the will of the world to end violence against women and girls. In more than 205 countries today, people... The new world begins today. From remote villages on all 7,000 islands of the Philippines, to the large cities of Europe, from rural huts in the Gambia, to parking lot malls, outside state capital buildings like this one, in our, and in iconic metropolises like New York, London, Chicago, Atlanta, Paris, Sydney, Johannesburg, the planet is shifting today. I've been up 
most mornings this week at about four o'clock and I went to my email this morning and there was an email from a young woman in Delhi. She said that today at St. Xavier's College in, sorry, in Mumbai, not Delhi, in Mumbai, a conservative Jesuit college in its 150 years of existence has never allowed music to be played in the college, let alone dance. But for the first time ever, on V-Day, today, not only did they play music, but they danced in the main quadrangle of the college. It is small miracles like that that are happening today, and big ones. The parliamentarians danced outside the British Parliament today and declared today one billion rising day so that they can introduce sex education into the classrooms. Legislators from across Europe to New Mexico have pledged to ensure violence against women becomes the number one issue under discussion in the sessions. And I do have to say, Brian E. Golf is here. He just danced in the house, in the middle of the that you move us to the side. We can get you can gather around or over there, but please don't block the entrance to the roundhouse. Mayors across the world from Lima, Peru to Vinchuk, Namibia have declared today one billion rising day in their cities. Mayor Koss did so for us as well today and unfortunately he can't be here with us. But it, but if Patty Boucher is here I'm right here but I can't find oh. the proclamation <laughs> She's going to read it for us um, in a short while. Yay! I just want to say that I have never been more proud to be part of anything in my entire life. I'm so privileged to live here in Santa Fe, but I work around the world. And I just want to say, what if every single person who's come out here today, the crowds, the masses, I know in my deepest heart that we can all together stop violence against women and girls. And we can do it today and today. Managing Director of V-Day, and I rise today because I do not want my 10-year-old daughter to become a statistic when she goes to college in this country. One in five girls on college campuses get raped, and I do not want that to be my daughter's future. I'd like to ask Jessica Montoya to come forward. She's going to read a piece about what One Billion Rising is today. Jessica. One in three women on the planet will be beaten or raped in her lifetime. That's more than one billion women living on the planet today. Vida Santa Fe and the women and men of New Mexico refuse to stand by as more than a billion women experience violence. Today, we are rising with millions, billions of men and women around the world to say enough, the violence ends now. One billion rising is an appreciation and amplification and an escalation. One billion rising is a global call to action. We have gathered throughout the world. One billion rising is a communal joining us in solidarity, purpose, and energy, showing the world our collective strength, our numbers, our unity. One billion rising is shaking the world into a new consciousness. We are dancing across every country on every continent. Dancing insists we take up space. It has no set direction, but we go there together. It is dangerous, joyous, sexual, fully disruptive. It breaks the rules. It can happen anywhere, at any time, with anyone and everyone. It's free. It requires touching the music. No corporation can control it. It joins us and it pushes us to go further. It's contagious and it spreads quickly. It's of the body. It's a transcendent. We are dancing in defiance of the injustices. We and our mothers, our aunts, our lovers, our friends have suffered. One Billion Rising is a celebration. We are dancing in the streets, in churches, in stadiums, in huts, and in our homes. We are shaking the planet today in a powerful act 
of refusal to let the violence continue. We are saying no more. We are one family rising. A couple of, just some, some notices because I, I realize people are telling me there's a lot of people coming, which is amazing, we're rising. We are gonna turn the speakers a little. When it's time to dance, please make your way so that there's space for everyone. The last thing I want, I really don't want, is people to get stampeded today, please. So please make your way around the roundhouse. We can circle the roundhouse and rise. Um, a couple things before we do dance and rise. I, four amazing women are going to come and read a piece by Eve called Over It. Jessica, uh, sorry, Audrey Marie Roybal, Julie Sa uh, Sandoval, Carrie McCarthy, and Kathleen Fontaine. Over it. I'm over rape. I'm over rape culture, rape mentality, rape pages on Facebook. I'm over the thousands of people who've signed those pages with their real names without shame. I'm over people calling it freedom of speech and justifying it as a joke. I'm over people not understanding that rape is not a joke. And I'm over being told I don't have a sense of humor. And women don't have a sense of humor. When most women I know, and I know a lot, are really fucking funny. <laughs> Just don't think that uninvited penises up our anus or our vagina is a laugh riot. I am over how long it seems to take anyone to ever respond to rape. I am over the hundreds of thousands of women in the Congo still waiting for the rapes to end and the rapists to be held accountable. I am over the thousands of women in Bosnia, Burma, Syria, Somalia, Pakistan, South Africa, Guatemala, Sierra Leone, Haiti, Afghanistan, Libya, the United States of America, New Mexico, Santa Fe, you name a place. I'm over the thousands of women waiting for justice. I am over rape happening in broad daylight. I am over women being gang raped and murdered on a bus in Delhi or gang raped and videotaped in Steubenville, Ohio. I am over one in three women in the U.S. military being raped by her so-called comrades. I am over rape victims being becoming re-raped when they try to prosecute their cases. I am over women still being silent about rape because they are made to believe it is their fault or they did something to make it happen. I am over violence against women not being the number one international priority when one in three women will be raped or beaten in her lifetime. The destruction and muting and undermining of women is the destruction of life itself. No women, no future. Duh. Duh. <laughs> where the privileged with political and physical and economic might take what they want, when they want, who they want, as much as they want, anytime they want. I'm over it. I am over the endless resurrection of the careers of rapists and sexual exploiters, film directors, world leaders, corporate executives, movie stars, athletes, while the lives of the women they have violated are permanently destroyed and often force them into social and emotional exile. I'm over it. I am over the passivity of good men. Where the hell are you?
I know a lot of you are here today. You live with us, make love with us, father us, befriend us, brother us, get nurtured and mothered and eternally supported by us. So why aren't you standing by us? Why aren't you driven to the point of madness? <laughs>